everyone, I'm Dr. Divya Madan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this video uh, is for those who have just given their INICT exam. It's just a short recall videos of all the pediatric questions that I could uh, recollect from here and there. So uh, let's begin. So the first question I came across was uh, a milestone question. Again, a previous year question, a uh, very uh, predicted one that there would be a milestone question. Uh, this time they asked at what time handedness comes. So handedness comes by three years. I remember at 36 months of age, that is three years, the child knows three things. He can tell you his age, name and gender. And also handedness develops at the same time. One point where you can get confused is left and right discrimination. Discrimination from left and right that comes by four years of age. So answer to this question is handedness. It comes by three years of age. Coming down to the next question. Uh, it was an image based question even in fact a video question. Uh, you are going to insert a cannula in a new one and what all things you would require. So the options were like some, uh, some was uh, 22 gauge cannula, gloves, 26 gauge cannula, normal saline and syringe. So uh, for this question, I am going to refer to the Niku uh, YouTube channel. Uh, that is a preterm care package, preterm baby package. Let's see this video and what all the requirements they have mentioned there. Sterile gloves, spirit and povidone iodine swabs, sterile 24 or 26 gauge cannula, 1 ml syringe, normal saline, tape and scissors and ticoderm. A splint is optional. Uh, all of these options are correct except 22 gauge cannula that is a bigger cannula, blue colored cannula that uh, should not be placed in a newborn. Their vessels are really tiny and we usually pay, place either a 24 gauge cannula or a 26 gauge cannula in them. So these were the, all the requirements. You can subscribe to this channel because most of the videos are being asked in the INICT exam. So the next question was uh, somehow, uh, there were two questions related to uh, congenital heart diseases. The one was increased pulmonary blood flow is seen in and these are the so options uh, that I could recollect. One option was tetralogy of palate and Epstein anomaly. Second option was transposition of great arteries that is uh, TGA and hyperplastic left heart syndrome and uh, C was tricuspid atresia. So tricuspid atresia, there is obviously decreased blood flow. In tetralogy of phthalate, again, uh, decre uh, decreased blood flow. Epstein anomaly, atrialization of the ventricle, uh, again, decreased blood flow. The correct option here uh, is uh, the one with TGA and hypoplastic left heart syndrome, where there will be increased pulmonary blood flow. Now coming on to the next case, it was again an image page question. And a clinical case was given and a picture like this uh, chest x-ray was given. And you can easily appreciate here, it is a classical boot shaped heart. And this was TOF, Tetralogy of Fale. Another clinical based question where an image like this was given. Uh, you can easily uh, make out here that it is again a repeated question. Uh, you can see the knuckles, right? It is Gautron signs, Gautron's papules seen in juvenile dermatomyositis, right? So these were some questions that I could recollect uh, from here and there of, of from this November 22 session, INI session. And I hope the exam went well. It was a really predictable exam, I feel, uh, focusing more on the basic subjects. And uh, the questions was uh, questions were repeated again and again. Uh, one controversial question that I came across was status asthmaticus. A scenario was given where you receive a child in status asthmaticus. Now in this child, uh, the question was what were all the things, uh, how would you manage this child? What is the option? What, how will you manage the child? What all you will require in the management of the child? And options were somehow uh, salsol, that is salbutamol uh, nebulization and oxygen. Other option was salsol and oral prednisolone. 
uh, and other option was salsol oxygen oral prednisolone as well as chest x-ray and i think uh, uh, in one option only salbutamol was given there was no oxygen along with it so if the question asked that which of these you routinely require you routinely need in your management then you can easily exclude this option because chest x-ray we do not do routinely we do it when whenever there is the first episode or you are thinking of an alternative diagnosis either pneumothorax or subcutaneous emphysema or uh, the child is not improving by your basic management right so if the question uh, seriously asked that what of these would you require routinely in the management then you can easily exclude out this option and option b would be correct right uh, if the option uh, if the question asks which of these can be used then or the best option amongst all these then the c would be the right option but uh, the point here is that chest x-ray is not routinely recommended if the question mentioned first episode or the child is not improving or the child requires pico admission or you are not sure about the diagnosis then chest x-ray would be there otherwise it won't be there in the correct option so that's all well, that's my recall of INICT November 2022 session uh, of pediatrics specifically so i hope this exam was a great eye opener as to how much uh, previous year questions mean uh, in cracking such exams and you do exceedingly well uh, in the upcoming exams as well don't uh, we realize that it's done it's over go uh, give a shot at neat also uh, you never know that uh, you get an amazing rank then and don't get disheartened if you are getting uh, wrong answers in this recall and uh, same goes for other subjects as well uh, life is long and uh, it will offer you opportunities again and again to shine uh, till then happy learning see you on the other side bye bye